tonight at 6. Talk show host Glenn Beck has just been Donald Ducked. How a Bay Area man used a cartoon to mock the media star. That's next. Well, it's not a campaign ad, but it can tell us a lot about the changing world of politics. Alongside the dancing babies and yawning pandas, one very pointed political satire is getting huge hits on YouTube. Mike Sugarman shows us how one guy in a San Francisco apartment can change the discussion all across the country. In a nondescript Mission District apartment building in a tiny room lives a David who has taken on a Goliath. Come on. This is the center of the uh, vast conspiracy against Glenn Beck. Jonathan McIntosh didn't use a slingshot, instead a computer. He took aim at one of America's most controversial talk show hosts, who he despises, and goosed him with a duck. How many Marxist, communist, anti-capitalist do you have around you? He worked three months, sometimes 10 hours a day, on a video mashup of Glenn Beck mixed with Donald Duck. It's gone viral. At least half a million hits since its release Saturday, among them, Glenn Beck. Um, Donald Duck meets Glenn Beck. It is some of the best well-made propaganda I have ever seen. This is where it gets crazy. If I'm not mistaken, some of these remix uh, videos, I believe, get federal funding. We're looking into the funding of this gentleman. Are you federally funded? No, I have no funding at all. This is just me and my computer in my, in my living room. Uh, in fact, I, you know, I, I, just, uh, I just lost my job and la last month, which gave me some free time, and that's really the reason that I was able to, to put this together. In the video, Donald Duck loses his job and starts listening to the Beck radio show. The Depression-era cartoon and Beck's musing seem to pair well. Out of context, of course. There are Nazis in America. Nazis and communists. You have to think like a German Jew, 1934. That Walt Disney was very conservative isn't lost on Macintosh either. He revels in the satire liberals are loving and Beck is hating. I, I like that I'm, I'm able to speak back to him um, and that um, people using Remix or using YouTube, you know, are, are, are able to speak back and that, that there can be a larger voice for those of us who don't have uh, a radio station and a TV station. Because now the people who do must worry about getting stuck. <laughs> So again, this came out Saturday, and how did it spread? Well, Roger Ebert saw it, he tweeted it. Whoa. John Cusack, the actor, saw it, he tweeted it. And what it really goes to show is just how in this media environment, one person can throw open a can of worms to the entire political world. Hmm. Has Disney weighed in on this? Well, it's fair use from what is it? I understand oh. Mr. McIntosh says. Uh, but I don't know, mm. I and mean, that's what he says. It's a lot of Disney material. Yeah. I'm guessing he's going to get a job and a good one yeah. out of this. Well, you know, he, he, he worked very hard on this. Yeah, thing. good for him. Yeah. All right. All right, Mike, thanks.